I brought the gold medal here into the ring. Anthony Joshua won this in this great city in 2012. Just talk us through what a time that was like for you. Um, so I started three years boxing prior to the Olympics. Went through the championships, ABAs, GB championships, Europeans, qualified through the World Championships. Um, I got silver there, which was a close fight for the gold, which put me in good stead for the Olympics. But the experience at the Olympics, I don't think will compare to this uh, Saturday coming and watching Groves 2, so it's going to be hectic. I've experienced what it's like to have some passionate fans in an arena, but that was about 13,000. You're going to be seeing 80,000 passionate fans. So if you're watching from home or at the event, you're going to be in for a good match. Anthony, winning this, how much pressure does it put on your shoulders to perform and achieve your dreams now as a professional? For me, I just feel there's no pressure because um, boxing is a blessing, so I just enjoy it. I ride the wave, and I'm just making the most of the opportunity that I've got. So I'm training hard, and um, I'm training to be whoever's in the ring with me. Um, but as I said, no pressure. I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and I'm dedicated, so that, that makes my life a lot easier. Anthony's now uh, unbeaten in five since turning pro uh, at the O2 Arena. Wembley Saturday night against Matt Legg. Uh, your first up at half past six. Obviously you want to start the show with a, with a bang. What are we going to see from you? Uh, we're going to see... Probably I'll take the centre of the ring, come up to the centre. And I'm going to try to keep him, keep him in distance, in good range. Um, it would be interesting to see if he tries to uh, stay on the edge of the ring, so I'm going to have to shut him down in his tracks, or if he comes to the centre and comes to war with him. So, uh, it really depends on his tactics, but either way, I think I'm going to have something to get the job done and start the night off with a good rest. And how excited are you about the whole event? I mean, British boxing absolutely buzzing with this, Crotch Roads too. I, I can't remember a fight like this on our shores for many, many years. Yeah, so I guess as a fight fan yourself, you just want to be part of it. Yeah, the benefit of being on first is that hopefully I get the win and then I can just come out and chill out and watch the fight and enjoy it just like everyone else. Um, the last fight, you know, the 80,000 or something, just before the war, 1932 or something like that. And, uh, so to have it now in my lifetime to be part of it, I just hope I get the job done so I don't want to sit back behind in the changes and watch it. I want to be there inside and enjoy the show. Hey. Anthony, we've asked everybody, what do you think will happen when Crotch and Groves meet again in the ring? What does everyone think Crotch and Groves? Oh! Is it Groves? Oh! <laughs> well, I'm going to go with Crotch. <laughs> Reason being is... <laughs> That's my opinion anyway. I just think that Crotch is a champion and uh, he nearly lost his belt the first time. And I feel that he's, uh, he's got things right and he's going to try and hold on to his belt. So. I'm not saying that it's going to be an easy match because I rate Rose highly, it's going to be a real good fight. But um, I feel experience wise, being a champion, he's going to, do a, he's going to do a good job. But I wish them both the best of luck. I'm not siding with anyone. That's my opinion that I've got to win. And finally, Anthony, how long do you think it will be before you're headlining on the really big stage and sort of closing in on, on, on huge titles yourself? Um, for me, one step at a time, so my, my main ambition right now is to become British champion and defend it and so I can keep it at home. Um, so for me, I'll get out of the way hopefully next year and then I can step on to like European level before I get to world. But for world champion, only God knows, but it's in my sights, but I'm just doing it one step at a time. Um, I just hope all my rivals and my foes are going to do well as well, so we can come together and have a, a rivalry like Crotchin Grove and take it to Wembley and hopefully get 80,000 people coming out to enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, Olympic gold medalist and future star of the sport, Anthony Joshua.